hoy conmemoramos el 160 aniversario de la heroica Batalla de Puebla. Para dar inicio al evento, el cónsul general y el alcalde de Paseic procederán de manera conjunta a entregar la corona frente al monumento del general Zaragoza, héroe nacional y símbolo de la Batalla de Puebla. Cónsul general y alcalde, si nos pueden rendir los honores. It is, as always, an honor and a privilege to be here every year to uh, commemorate Cinco de Mayo, obviously the Battle of Puebla in 1862, it's 160 years ago. I was inspired to hear the words of our Council General in the Battle of Puebla, an outnumbered force in Mexico triumph over the French Empire. It is remarkable. It was a resounding message that went throughout the world to never underestimate Mexico. To know that no matter the challenges or adversities that the Mexican people may face, triumph is assured. I believe it is uh, the words of Benito Juarez who said that in time, the cause and rights will always triumph when it comes to justice. These are important things to share especially on days like this and considering the children that are seated before us. To remind them, I believe they were also the words of Benito Juarez who stated that men are nothing and principles are everything. It's to instill these principles in our children. I am considering the fact that today our students who played both anthems and the children who hold up both flags from Mexico and the United States of America and our police officers that are present of Mexican descent and our business owners who are of Mexican descent who came here to this country filled with hope and dreams and a desire to work hard and to transform this city not just for their own benefit but to continue a remarkable and amazing legacy that goes around the world of the contributions of the remarkable Mexican people. I consider the number of children here, you, the beautiful faces that stood and endure long speeches like mine in the sun. I consider your resiliency. I consider the fact that you came from our Benito Juarez school here in the city of Pasay to celebrate and to hear these words. And if I may address you specifically, to you the children, these days are important for us. We speak of history. We go through the formalities of these particular programs. But if I may propose to everyone here, it's really about you, the children, because our hopes are in you. That no matter what you face, like that outnumbered number of brave men, and I would say women who supported and were there present, you can do anything if your convictions remain strong. That those of you who come from these amazing backgrounds, Mexican background, Latino background, or whatever culture you may point to, know that it is important, it is paramount that you succeed in this country to honor the sacrifices of your parents, but that you never forget your roots. That you know that these days are important. That every time you see the flag that represents the contributions of your parents, your grandparents, and so many who came before you, you should hold that up in your hearts. Keep that in your soul. That you should have your heritage as a badge of honor. Paseikis Puebla second home. Maybe in the near future will be the first one. As, as a Mexican today, I feel at home with my friends and family. I want to start by thanking the Major's Office, Hector Lora, all the great support that he has given to the Mexican community. Hector, muchas gracias. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Es en la adversidad en la que encontramos al verdadero vecino, amigo y aliado. Hoy por hoy, somos el socio comercial más importante de los Estados Unidos. Y para México, es el socio comercial más importante. Lincoln y Juárez nunca se conocieron personalmente, pero su amistad simboliza y fortalece la solidaridad y fraternidad existente entre ambas naciones desde hace más de 160 años. Esta amistad entre gobiernos, entre naciones vecinas, ha evolucionado hasta el día de hoy en la que además de amigos y vecinos, contamos con una sólida y estratégica relación bilateral. Por ello somos aliados y socios estratégicos. Pero en este día no solo quiero destacar la relación que existe en nuestras naciones, 
ya que son bien conocidos los beneficios de nuestra cooperación mutua que aporta a nuestras sociedades. Por lo mismo también me gustaría destacar la incansable actitud de perseverancia y resiliencia que caracteriza a las y los mexicanos que residen en el área triestatal y de manera muy particular en el Garden State y también de manera muy singular a todos los residentes mexicanos en Paseic. Mexico's and United States relationship like Juarez and Lincoln will prevail with more understanding and cooperation. We are and we will continue to be strategic partners looking for the best of each other. And second, that the Mexican diaspora is essential for the growth and well-being of the state of New Jersey. The Mexicans, we Mexicans contribute with great passion and conviction to build a better garden state. Muchas gracias, feliz Cinco de Mayo. I'd like to welcome everyone in attendance for the Cinco de Mayo ceremony at Pulaski Park in the city of Passaic. Made even more meaningful being that this event is being held at the Ignacio Zaragoza Memorial. I want to thank Council General Jorge Lopez and SIG Mayor Hector Laura for bringing us together to celebrate this event, and I regret not being able to attend. This impressive Cinco de Mayo celebration is a historic collaboration between the City of Passaic and the Government of the State of Puebla. Today, we honor a historic triumph that unifies Mexican heritage and culture through the remembrance of Mexico's victory over the French Army in 1862. It was the Battle of, the, it was the Battle of Puebla where General Ignacio Zaragoza galvanized the Mexican resistance leading to the French army withdrawal and ultimately to Mexico's independence. In observance of Cinco de Mayo, New Jerseyans across the state celebrate and honor the rich culture and history representing valor and freedom. This celebration offers an opportune time to reflect on the fundamental ideals and values that contribute to the abundant and diverse cultural, social, and economic contributions made to our state and nation by the Mexican people. I would like to extend my sincere best wishes to all for an enjoyable and memorable event. My very best, Governor Phil Murphy. Gracias y feliz Cinco de Mayo. Les envío un fraternal saludo de parte de nuestro gobernador de Puebla, Miguel Barbosa Huerta, quien se encuentra presidiendo los festejos del 5 de mayo junto con el presidente de México, Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Hoy conmemoramos una batalla que marcó el curso de la historia de nuestro país pero que también marcó la historia de miles de hombres y mujeres que con su lucha le mostraron al mundo la valentía y fuerza del gran pueblo de México. El 5 de mayo de 1862, en el telegrama que Ignacio Zaragoza le envía a Benito Juárez para anunciar la victoria de las tropas mexicanas sobre el poderoso ejército francés, se leía Las armas mexicanas se han cubierto de gloria. Hoy recordamos y honramos esa gloria. Hoy les invito a reflexionar sobre el gran país que hemos construido, sobre la buena vecindad que tenemos con el pueblo norteamericano, con el que tenemos mucho en común y sobre todo el futuro de nuestras niñas y niños. Que la conmemoración del día de hoy nos recuerde que somos un pueblo unido y que somos capaces de enfrentar cualquier desafío que se nos presente. Recuerden también que México es un gran país lleno de riquezas naturales y culturales, lleno de expresiones artísticas y fantásticos lugares que les invito a conocer. En Puebla se libró la batalla del 5 de mayo y hoy es un estado que les espera con los brazos abiertos, con una espectacular gastronomía, con la hospitalidad de su gente y con sus bellezas naturales y culturales. También les espera para que conozcan más a fondo la historia de la batalla y de otras gestas heroicas de las que hemos sido partes. Puebla es su casa, Puebla es el patrimonio de México. Muchas gracias.